Welcome back to Vegas Live with Nina. And of course, you know where I am. I'm down at the Pepper Mill, Pepper Mill Lounge in Las Vegas. Um, we're at one of the only shows actually still sort of running and going on in Vegas at the moment because it's this big shutdown and everything. I have uh, Michelle with me. Michelle is a reoccurring guest. She's come on many, many times. And then I have Paul. Now, I've been told that Paul's coming on because Paul has something special happening, but I don't know what it is. So <laughs> hopefully, Michelle's going to tell me what it is. What's going on with Paul? Well, this is Paul Cuevas. He is our bassist and principal arranger and one of the two male members of Violectric, our full band. So, the, yeah, because you've only got two males in this band because you're in seventh heaven. How cool that is. S especially standing behind. Well, you're so <laughs> gotta love that view. you gotta love that view right <laughs> yeah. and they're all they're all playing around and yeah. active and mm -hmm. it's very fun just to watch you know there are moments where I just kind of like forget that I'm playing and just enjoy watching, <laughs> just enjoy watching the lady <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We try to give him something to look at. To, to look so, at, I, yes, I'm sure you do. <laughs> now, there's one thing I can't keep, keep my eyes off Michelle's eyes, and there's a reason being because she ha you have she has diamond lashes. You have diamonds. <laughs> she's got diamonds on her lashes. Did you buy them like that, or did you put I, diamonds? No, on? no, I got them like this. You got oh, them like oh, that. Oh, yes, yes. I, I got them from a from a from a lovely shop in Orlando. So yes. Yeah, because you're from Orlando. <laughs> yes, we're from Orlando. How's it How's it doing down there? It's the same as probably Vegas. Everything's shut down. It's interesting. The theme parks are slowly opening up, but of course, Disney opened their, today or something. They didn't did it? Uh, tomorrow. Oh, yes, tomorrow. 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 They, they, they did a preview for annual pass. That's orders. right. Yes. 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 Um, but it officially opens tomorrow. Two of the parks and two others open in a few more days, um, and then at that point, all the parks in Orlando and Central Florida will be open will at be that point. Open. But of course, they have very strict requirements. They have face coverings oh, yeah. and and they do temperature checks. And there's a whole whole <laughs> slew of things for safety I, procedures. I don't think the world has ever been so clean in the entire <laughs> world and if nothing else happened Very in true. is I mean everybody's cleaning their houses they I mean I realize I've got four bedrooms and they all need cleaning well there is there are mint condition now anybody can go into them. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> We've you, all become cleaning. You need to come home with me then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start cleaning up. I would clean never well. ask you to do that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Anyway, get that in the scrub. Why not? I'll so. serenade you while you do. <laughs> oh, she could play the violin. Yes. That's what you call music while you clean. <laughs> so there are advantages. You know, I always like to look at the positive side of everything. So they have advantages. What has your advantage been with, you know, this lock? I call it the lockdown because that's really what it is. For us, it's been an opportunity to be more creative and do things. And I'll be honest, I haven't really looked in the virtual realm very much until now. And so what we, it kind of came to me during this this lockdown, that we need to start reaching out to our young people again. Absolutely. We need to get to them. And so we came up with this idea of doing like a short video series. It's called Sparks. Sparks and it stands okay. for a short professional artist reaching kids series, Sparks. And how how old will these children be that you would that you're trying to reach? We're targeting basically elementary on up, so okay. adults can definitely learn from it too. And what we've done is we've limited every video to about seven minutes. That's great because I was going to say the shorter the better because yes. the attention span. Would you say yes. that, Paul? The yes. attention it's span gone down has gone, yeah, you know, especially with the younger mm -hmm. generation. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they don't like it, they flip. I oh. mean, you're you're like a second there, and if they don't like that first little opening, right. Mm -hmm. And that's, so, that's it. So what we do is we start off with like a how it's made or how it's done segment okay. for roughly five minutes. Yes. And then we have a 90 second or so concert after that. So it's it's like a, a combination of a how it's created show yeah. mixed with a live uh, of what, what like a talent created. show that's from TV. You know how yeah. all of their, their performances are limited to 90 seconds? Yes. That's what we've done is we've married the two together and you have Violectric Sparks. So, th so that means you're showing them how it's done and then you're showing them the 90 second, which is cool. That is really, really cool. Thank you. Have you ever thought of doing, of teaching online? We have, and that's why we're, we're hoping to do these as like teasers for that, yeah. because we have our Violetric Education programs where we've been able to go live in person to schools and teach large groups of students we and perform with them. can't schools now because they're not opening yet. But we can't right now. No. So that's what we're hoping to do is this will lead into our lead larger into the, programs that are longer. Do you think that the younger generation are getting very used to, you know, uh, the internet and, and sort of doing everything, you know, what is, is it? 
that's where we're going to. A lot of people have sort of come home doing everything at home. They're all getting on as families. I've had the most incredible stories. Mm -hmm. Well, seeing it, uh, I also teach in the school system. Oh, you do? And, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> seeing it from that perspective, it's actually very interesting where um, it works very well with some kids and with some it doesn't. Typical life. Yeah. But um, I think if, you know, like you're saying, if the families just get a little more integrated with each other, this is a wonderful time for people to just come together in families. Absolutely. And well, I think this is, hap this is the greatest thing that's ever happened mm -hmm. with getting families back together with their children. Yes. Because yeah. now they're realizing what their children have learned in school and what they haven't learned in school. You mm -hmm. know, they can fossil papers yeah. around, but now they've got the actual contact. And yeah. it's funny, there's a lot of women teaching their children and then also there's, I guess, some men. Is it more men or more women or I, younger? I've seen it kind of about 50-50. Yeah. And do you do any teaching online or do you...? Uh, I spent the last, uh, let's say, quarter of the year teaching kids online and then, you know, with the private students musically too getting integrated online. Integrated. Are you getting more young, the younger generation involved? I feel like they're getting more involved, yes. You do? Mm -hmm. is, it, is it because it's kind of something different? You know, you, they're not getting on the bus and going to school and getting off and they've got this routine, you know, yeah. this, we all get used to a routine and then we kind of mm -hmm. get very lackadaisical. So now this is something new. Yeah. Um, it does affect kind of their social lives a little bit. You know, they're not in but they haven't got their kids, so their they haven't got their and friends that. and everything. Yeah. That's the one thing that I've seen, but you know, they take on to it really quick. They do. Do mm -hmm. you have children? No. <laughs> the way he said, no, don't give me any, I don't want not any. Not yet, at least. Not, <laughs> not yet. You, what, would, you, you, would you like to have children? I would love to have one. Oh, there you are. Oh, that's cool. One, maybe okay. two. Maybe two. Yeah, don't got to keep each other company. Now, yes. you don't have any children. No, we don't. And are you going to... Well, it's rather a personal question. No, no, it's all right. No, it's you've all got right. children. I'm going to no, no, no. We, we just want to go straight to grandchildren. That's, straight. that's what, We're just ready for the grandchildren. Grand Even though we have no children, we're ready for say, grandchildren. You've got, to have, you've got to have children first <laughs> to get the grandchildren. That's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> well, practice makes oh, perfect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> practice makes perfect. There you go. Yeah. But she has a wonderful husband, Jerry. He's absolutely yeah. fabulous. He is, of course, the builder and creator of these wonderful yeah, now, instruments. Yes, now we've got this, so. this, is, this is one of my favorites. I just love yes. this because if you probably notice, it changes colors and, and it's just absolutely amazing. And then, are you going to play a little something for me? Yes, I actually, while I was waiting, I composed a song for you. Oh, good. Okay. But also, I got a present. Michelle gave me this present. Is it this? Look, I've got to bring it up. I I've did. Got to show you this. It's my plant. favorite plant, and I wanted I to share gonna, that I with you too. I was going to sit it right here, but I, I, it kind of hides me, <laughs> so we decided to put it. But isn't that beautiful? Orchids got, are my favorite, and I, and I also, wanted to I share a, them. I got another present too, which I'll show you a little later. I had a, a, a cap, a, a sun cap. It's fabulous. <laughs> here we go. Oh, they've got the red. Of course. Here we go. Okay, so Paul, you ready? I'm. Isn't that beautiful? And maybe I'll put some lyrics to it one You'll day. You'll put some lyrics to it and you yes. can sing to me. Isn't that absolutely... I mean, how could you ask for anything better in this entire world of what's going on and what's happening when behind the scenes someone is writing a song for you? Yes. It, 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 I'm the luckiest woman in the entire world. I get presents, I get, I get everything. <laughs> I'll tell you. Hey, Paul, you want to be in my place? <laughs> you can switch whenever you want. I'll switch any time. <laughs> So well, Paul was saying that one of our education programs yes. that we're talking about doing, that he's going to be leading. Mm -hmm. I'll let you tell about it yeah. real quick. Um, I am a big fan of Soulfish, 
which is the hand signs, the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, oh, that's, Do. Well, I used to be very, I had a foundation, and I had Dr. Howard House on my foundation, and we used to do a lot of sign language mm -hmm. for the young kids because yes. of the, you know, hearing impaired. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I personally... So you do the line, sign language? Yes, I love it. Um, you know, when you go to a college so, for music, yeah. it's a requirement. So, oh, really? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. So you uh, had to learn that. Yes, and we had to. Uh, we had ear training classes, so they would play a melody on the piano, and we would have to dictate it, and then we would have to sing it back using the hand using signs. Using the hand and everything. signs and yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the education programs or the Spark videos that we're going to do is a little bit on the history of solfege, and then we're going to do a little solfege number at the end of it. So fish, and that's the name of it. That's I'm the guessing. name of the hand signs. Of the hand yes. signs. Or, so um, this is something new. I know a lot about <laughs> the, the signing and you know all that, mm -hmm. but I did yes. not know what that. I've never heard that said before. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so he wants to sing something for you and see if you recognize it. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, you play, you sing. <laughs> say. I, I, I'm just um, blown away with the talent of people and what they bring to this world um, for nothing. They just do it and, and it's just it's so nice to see that because we see so many hatred things going on in this world. Um, unfortunately on my show we don't have that. <laughs> we have the total opposite and I, I, that is beautiful. So you learned all that and, yes. and now are you going to put that on the internet because you should. Yes, that's the plan. That's, that's the plan, plan to get mm -hmm. that. And then are you going to teach people or the children or who, oh, yes. whomever? Yes. Mm -hmm. On the internet. Yes. And then um, when I, I teach the music, I teach music at the school. Yes. And I integrate that from kindergarten all the way up to. So they must love you at years. school because not many people do that at school. Um, not for today. the hearing impaired. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. You know, and that, that's, that's very treasure to my yeah. heart because mm -hmm. if I had the Dr. Yes. Howard House was on my on my board and we used to help as, as much as we possibly mm -hmm. could and raise money and do all sorts of you know wonderful things for these these young people it's funny I had, um, I had another show and I had this this girl she was blind and I had interviewed her many years ago and then I was interviewing at Beverly Hills High School and I'm talking away and this is several years later and I didn't know and, and this I heard this voice saying oh that's Ninon because she can't see, mm -hmm. but she, she, and I said, how do you know it's me? She said the voice. <laughs> of so, course. So, every, so, you know, something, you can bring something to somebody at any time and just have the patience. So how long are you in Vegas? Just till Friday. Till Friday? This time, yes. Till Friday, and yes. uh, what are you you're doing, are you trying to get performances or things together or yes, whatever? Because you're with Wayne Newton. Of course, yes, yes, which he's on break right now, as are all shows in Las Vegas at yes. the moment. But we just recently signed with Southwest Artist Group, which is a management company right here in Las Vegas. They just signed us oh, since I've seen goodness. you, so oh, we're very so that's excited. Exciting. So we're now home-based also in Las in Vegas. Las so Vegas. Orlando and Las and, Vegas and Las are Vegas. I know you spend a lot of time here. Yes. So, so when am I going to get Wayne Newton on the show? Come on, Wayne Newton. <laughs> Come on. Where are you? You've got to show him this tape. I and then you Show him this tape I and then say Nina wants you I want Wayne I have never you since you were knee high to a grasshopper we were both knee high to a grasshopper I don't know who's older you or me doesn't matter <laughs> but we're definitely coming back in July of next year also because of the Elvis week festival that is oh, going right. on it's already under contract are, are for you next bringing year. your friend back yes yes he will be here as well what was his name again Ted Torres Ted Torres yes Absol Oh, and his wife was so sweet. Oh, yes. She's an, she oh, actually she's an interviewer, too. She yes. interviews people and everything, and she she's is. lovely. But Ted Torres is really, really amazing. And he did that fabulous show. Yes, the 50th anniversary show yes. at the Westgate and in the, the International Westgate. Theater. Absolutely. What message would you like to give everybody out there that you're now back in Vegas and you, all this excitement oh, going we're, on? We're so excited. Um, we're, please follow us on YouTube. We're under Violectric Music, as well as on all our social media accounts. And all of our Sparks videos are free. Please share. Please share our Sparks videos. Well, when they're free, that's good. Now, when yes. they can get those on Zoom and everything, can they do all this? How do they do all this? It's all on YouTube all right on now. YouTube. Everything is coming on out. YouTube. Go into YouTube and... And our website, Violectric.net. Violectric. Remember that? Yes. Violectric. And that's because these are all electrified. Everything's electric. <laughs> We're all electric.
We're all there. Thank you for watching Vegas Live with Ninon, and thank you both for coming on. Absolutely thank you amazing. For having us again. Absolutely <laughs> loving my presence and everything. I got songs, I got presents, I got everything. Don't forget to subscribe. Go to YouTube and subscribe. We'll be right back with our next guest. You take care. Hi, I'm Michelle Jones, the band leader and founder of iElectric. They say that music is the universal language, but did you also know they're referring to how you read and write it? This all started in the 8th century with the monks who served under Pope Gregory. They wanted a way to write out their chants, and that's why the first written music became known as the Gregorian chants. From that, they started in Latin. Well, I don't speak Latin, so we're going to write a small chant today about a place that my cat is not supposed to be. The chant is about my cat on a piano. The cat is on the piano. Well, you could probably sing that back to me, but just to make sure where the notes go up and down, they decided to create a way to write it down. It started with just writing the words. The cat is on the piano. And then they did follow the bouncing dots. And the dots went over each note. The cat is on, because that went up. The pian went up, and then it went back down on no. When you add a harmony voice to it, it could be above that. The cat is on the piano. And then you could do a harmony voice below. The cat is on the piano. And possibly even one below that that's out of my vocal range. The cat is on the piano. Well, these little dots get very confusing. So they decided to draw lines. And now we have lines and spaces with the dots falling between the lines and spaces. When they mapped out the human voice, it ended up being 11 lines from top to bottom, with the middle being covered by everybody. Well, they decided to use a musical alphabet to name these notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, the first seven letters of our musical alphabet. But they started on G, because that was where the pitch fell, and then they go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way up the staff, which is this series of 11 lines. Well, that gets very confusing to read 11 lines. So they said, we've got to make it simpler. Let's take this middle line. That note is C. It's in the middle of our staff. Well, it's called middle C because it's the middle of the staff not because it's the middle of the piano. What they did was they said, what if we erase that line, except for when we need it for a note, keep the five lines on top, the five lines below, go two lines above middle C and two lines below middle C. What's the name of that note? Well, in the upper lines, it's G. This is the symbol for G. Treble clef swirls around the G line. Go two lines below, and they use a symbol for F, which became known as the bass clef. Well, the line got blended, so they decided to put a dot and then two dots on either side of the line to indicate the bass clef. Join it all with a brace, and now you have the grand staff with middle C in the middle. This made it so much easier to read the music and to know the notes. And that's why treble staff is different than the bass staff, because you have to think of them as one giant grand staff. Well, there are some exceptions. In the middle, there are some voices that aren't treble and aren't bass. So what they did was they decided to put the line back in, only use those five lines to connect with middle C being in the middle, and they used a new clef called a C clef or an alto clef. Very few instruments use this, 
but one of the most common is the viola, which is the middle instrument in the string family. It is also one of the instruments in dielectric. So now you're able to read the alto clef, the treble clef, and the bass clef and understand the relationship that they are with each other. And now you also are able to read all musical notation and how it is written worldwide from now on. If you enjoyed the last show we just did and all the other shows, don't forget to subscribe Vegas Live with Nino on YouTube. We've got plenty more coming up and our guests are amazing. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Nino.